a lot of complaints from ex-Scientologists of what they call mental torture. Everything in this church goes to extremities. High, high volume money extortion. High volume control. Disconnection from family members. High volume thuggery. One of the things they do in high volume is to look for dirt on you. These are called confessionals. Confessionals. And confessional auditing, if you just got off what was necessary, I believe, I mean, the whole principle of Catholic confessional is to just go and relieve yourself of your burdens and what you're feeling bad about. But Scientology takes us to an extreme. It goes on day after day, five hours a day, month in and month out, years. Those people in the Rehabilitation Project Force, there's someone in the RPF in Australia doing his 14th year, 14th year in this program, five hours a day of unmerciful, looking for the evil in you, looking for the bad in you. You are critical of the church, you have evil. And L. Ron Hubbard himself put this out. Here's the document. If you are critical of the church in any way, of Scientology or its principles, you have crimes that you could be arrested for right now and put in jail. See, Hubbard wrote that. So all the flock take that to the extreme. You're being critical. What are your crimes? Right? And the punishments go because Hubbard has deemed you a criminal because of disagreements or criticism or anything negative about a cult which has a lot of negativity. In my years in the church, I painfully had 13 Jobergs. What is a Joburg? Joburg is an abbreviation for Johannesburg Confessional. And when Hubbard was in South Africa, he devised this confessional. Maybe it was catering to South Africans at the time. But you have to sit there holding the cans and have the needle float, which means a release on this kind of question. Have you ever blackmailed anyone? Have you ever smuggled anything? Have you ever been involved in a baby farm? Have you peddled dope? Have you ever bombed anything? Have you ever murdered anyone? Have you ever kidnapped anyone? Have you been involved with illicit diamonds? Have you ever had sexual intercourse with a member of your own family?
Have you ever told lies in court? Anyway, here's, here's the form. Here's the Joe, Joe Burke. Now, can you imagine sitting through this 13 times? I sat in hold of cans and held this 13 times. This Joe Burke, the last time I had it was at the Flagland base. And it was the last time ever, ever, that I returned. No one could ever get me to go back to flank. Do you know I paid $800 an hour to sit through this? $800 an hour. $50,000 it cost me. I was ordered to flank in 1991, and I sat there, the dope that I was, giving them $50,000 to float my needle on whether I ever had a baby farm? Do you... I, I was so in the tunnel. Now, one thing Hubbard has said, which is quite dark, is that if you ask to leave the sea organization, you must be psycho. Here it is. You see, you slowly, slowly learn these definitions. If you're critical at, at all of Scientology, you're a criminal with crimes. If you want to leave the Sea Org, you're psychotic. These are Hubbard's definitions for any opposition. And part of the dog's breakfast left behind is the remaining rank and file act up on you based on these definitions. Hubbard said you were psycho, so let's treat him like a psycho. Hubbard said you were criminal, so let's treat you like a criminal. Part of the sadism of S.P. Hole comes straight out of these definitions. And that's why it is so abusive. When you roll it all back, what, what is going on? Who, who carries on like this? It carries on like this because of the definitions of these words. Let me give you a secret. I've done all the training. I know the score, right? The reason that they go on and on in these confessionals and a lot of them are ordered by Officer Special Affairs. These are intelligence operations. These are to get dirt on you for blackmail and to have weapons against you should you want to go and speak out to law enforcement or media. Let me tell you the secret. They want dirt on you. And they're going to police polygraph you hour after hour after hour to get the dirt. I will end this video with an amusing story. <laughs> I had some poor girl who was going to hit the skids if she didn't get dirt on me. I knew. I knew the score. She was there and she had to, she kept coming back in and we would go back in and she just went, how much, how much crime can you do where you're in lockdown for 20 years and that you, you haven't? You aren't in the outside world to even do anything. So the confessional things you give up was you were late for master, you didn't turn in your assignments, on, and that wasn't dirty enough. It wasn't meaty enough. So, this is funny. She said, Karen, you've got to have done something. She was getting exasperated. Haven't you done something big? And I got it. She wanted dirt. I, I, I understood where she was going. So I closed my eyes and said, you know, I think I bombed a planet. And I could see her eyes go bright. She said, did you kill women and children? Yes, I killed, I pressed this red button in the intergalactic federation there and this planet exploded into, her eyes. 
she got dirt on me. I was a whole track serial bomb killer of planets. Thank you, Karen. End of session.